The Prop A trial is coming to Broadway and then to theaters all over the country. The fallout from New York continues with renewed efforts in Maryland and Colorado. The Senate Judiciary Committee will hear testimony on DOMA's repeal on Wednesday, the 20th. And meanwhile, Canada makes us look bad by celebrating the sixth anniversary of marriage equality. I'm Matt Baum, and welcome to Marriage News Watch for July 18th, 2011. Marriage News Watch is made possible by Marriage Equality USA. If you're getting married, you can make Marriage Equality USA your donation gift beneficiary at marriageequality.org slash gifting. By Carbonated, a creative agency. And by viewers like you. We may never see the actual Prop 8 trial, since our opponents are trying every trick in the book to get the videotape record permanently destroyed. But we can see the next best thing, a brand new play called Eight, written by Dustin Lance Black, that dramatizes the story of the trial. It premieres on Broadway in September, and then the script will be licensed to schools and community groups all over the world. So soon, everyone will have the opportunity to see history being made. The other big news this week is the Senate Judiciary Committee's hearings on DOMA repeal. That's happening on Wednesday, the 20th, at 10 a.m. Witnesses will include couples who face marriage discrimination, as well as Joe Solomonese of the Human Rights Campaign and Evan Wolfson of Freedom to Marry. With the start of marriages less than a week away, New York continues to make headlines. This week it was revealed that New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg made good on his promise to financially protect lawmakers who made the right decision in voting for the bill. Meanwhile, momentum from that state continues to spread. Equality Maryland seems to have moved past a tumultuous first half of the year that nearly caused the organization to disband. This week they announced a new plan to pursue marriage in 2012, with increased support from coalition partners and from Governor Martin O'Malley. Meanwhile, in Colorado, a group of citizens is planning a ballot measure to overturn that state's marriage ban. Their chances are not good, but it's sweet of them to try, and anything that keeps the conversation going is a good thing. There was quite a bit of international news this week. Canada celebrated the six-year anniversary of marriage equality. In Finland, MPs are gathering support for a marriage equality bill. And in Chile, President Sebastian Piñera is expected to introduce a civil unions bill in the next few days. Those are the headlines. Visit us over at marriagenewswatch.com for more on all those stories and more. We'll see you next week. Marriage News Watch is made possible by Marriage Equality USA. If you're getting married, you can make Marriage Equality USA your donation gift beneficiary at marriageequality.org slash gifting. By Carbonated, a creative agency. And by viewers like you.